It's the year 1640 in England. It's a little village not far from the coast. In that village is a coal mine and most of the people of the village are working in the coal mine in very, very dangerous situations. Julia and Marsha, they go every morning down. Hi Marsha, once again here. Julia, this be, this be another day of work. I wonder, you know, they say there's been a little bit of debris coming down the mine. I, I hear that um, old Mr. Baker died in a big cave-in. That's why they've got the us women digging. So that means we're also at risk. Aye, that it be. So as you know, the air in here is not very safe. No, that'd be a fear of mine. I don't like these enclosed spaces. Next to Julia and Marsha is a little cage with a parrot. They know that if the parrot would die, the oxygen will be very low. Look at Mr. Yeller. He, he looks a bit unwell. He do. Not talking today. Julia, I think we better get out of this mine and quick. How are we going to make money? How are we going to survive? We'll not survive at all if we don't get out of this mine. Believe me, girl, we need to go. Okay, Marsha. Let's, let's do that. Sylvia sat in her office, counting her money. The coal mine was very lucrative. There'd been four deaths in the last month. Just an occupational hazard. And also, several budgies had gone. Sylvia thought about how she was going to spend her money and decided to make some plans. <laughs> oh, the money comes in. And it'd be all for me. <laughs> I pay the workers a pittance. I've heard rumours. Some of the uh, the workers saw things that looked a little like a diamond. And I didn't care <laughs> if more workers die. Because if they can get me that diamond as well, <laughs> I'll be so rich. Richer than all of this! Richer than all of this! Sylvia was already dreaming from a beautiful dress made from the most expensive silk coming from China. I will look to be so beautiful. Jonathan came running into the village. He wanted to warn the ladies that there was something approaching, some kind of rumour in the earth. An earthquake, possibly. It's very important that, that, that you listen very carefully to me. There was an earthquake last night and I saw in the village there are really cracks, big cracks in, 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 in the bottom of the earth. I don't know how deep they are. But I can just imagine that the conditions, very deep, are so risky, so dangerous. You should never go down anymore. And, and there's a big mountain of, of, of that piling. You think that can come down? Yeah, of course it hill? can come down. And it will come down. And this is all to do because of Sylvia and her family. They exploited the village for years, for years, for their own wealth and benefits. And we don't get a penny of it. But Sylvia, her house is right next to the, to the mine. Her house will, will be the first one to go. Yeah, probably. But do you think she will care? She has enough money to build 20 houses. But now we only have one. 
little shed where we live in. Marsha, what do you think? I think that this be the work of God, not of Sylvia. I think that this village do have too much sin. And I think that the two of you, and your carryings on, have brought the wrath of God. What, what, what carryings on are you talking about? Everybody knoweth about you two and your ungodly goings on at night time. We love each other, yeah? Okay, we are not married, but we love each other. That's not a sin to love someone. You're just saying that, Marsha, because your husband left you and you're all by yourself and you're jealous. Or do you fancy Jonathan? That'd be a wicked thing to say. Julia. 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 Julia Mac. Anderson. You should put a ring on her finger. I suggest we all pray to the Lord. I'm going to church. Right now. They need to work harder. Yes, there's tremors and chances are they may die. <laughs> The piles and piles of everything mined are ready to fall down, but if they don't find those diamonds and <laughs> fetch it all for me, for me to be richer. <laughs> Miss Sylvia, the workers are at the end of their strength. We can't go on anymore. It's too dangerous. Part of the mine shaft already collapsed. We could just save Julie and Marsha. We are at the end of our strings. We, we can't do this anymore. Please, close the mine. Jonathan. You work on. All of you. I don't care if that mine is going to collapse. You get as many diamonds as you can out of there for me. And that's all that matters. In fact, go down there right now. Take Julia and Marsha with you. Okay. Yes, Miss Sylvia. And don't come back up until you've found some diamonds. Of course. The first earthquake started, and Sylvia and Marsha started panicking. Marsha! Marsha! Rocks are falling. Oh. There is dust everywhere. Oh. There is smoke. This way! This way! Let's... Yeah! 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 Come on, we can just crawl through this hole! I can't see anything! They still have Mr. Yellow with them. Yeah! Mr. Yellow seems okay. It's... <laughs> At least he will be saved. <gasps> Look! Julia! What's that glistening? In the wall. What is it? It be one of those. Think they call them diamonds. Think that we should take this diamond, and with it, you can get wed. <gasps> Sylvia will never know. Oh. Quick! Let's go, guys. Jonathan! <laughs> I take it all. We can go out. Let's, let's go. Let's count them before you go. Get the diamond. Yeah, yeah. Right. 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 Let's go. In her greed, she decided to go down herself. She must have these diamonds. She wants to go to the first boat which comes out of China and to buy everything. Goes down. She goes down in the mine. It's dark. She has a candlelight with her. She sees a little basket with a dead parrot, but she continues going. Going. Going deeper. She sees flickers on the ceiling. Oh. 
in the earth shivers. It shivers and it thunders. And the ceiling cracks. And everything goes down. Everything goes down. Jonathan and Julia were getting married. Julia had a beautiful dress on and Jonathan looked smart in his tunic. All the villagers were gathered around as they jumped over the broomstick. Oh. Take the broom, take the broom. <laughs> <laughs> another one, another one coming. <laughs> Oh, my God. Thank you for the ring. <laughs> Lovely most, diamond. The most beautiful one we took. And I love your silk dress. <laughs> and I love your suit. Oh, thank you so much. And thank you to Marsha. Where, where is Marsha? Uh, is she? Marcia. Hey, Marcia. Marcia. Congratulations to you both. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, this is the first day, like they say, of the rest of our lives. And we are going to make the most beautiful place out of this village. And may I ask for a moment of silence for the death of Sylvia. Whatever she did, she's just now resting in peace. She be resting in pieces, I hear. <laughs> the ghost of businesswoman Sylvia wandered around the mine looking for her riches. Where are they? I need them. I'm searching again. Around her where all the ghosts of the people who died in the mine died for her and these ghosts haunted her It was you, it was you that sent me to my death It was you You will be here for eternity with us It was you, evil! I know you 